Hello, this is Steam Loan with CompassFX. I hope you're doing well today and you're getting some good trades. Recently at CompassFX, we've had a number of new traders to the Forex market. And with that, we have a number of traders new to the MetaTrader 4 platform. So in this video, I'm going to cover how to set and modify trend lines in the MetaTrader 4 platform. So you want to grab a pen and paper, take some notes along the way, or review this video to learn how to apply trend lines to a MetaTrader 4 chart and have a better overall understanding of using trend lines as you trade in the MetaTrader 4 platform. Now to begin with you can always go up to the top menu bar and in the top menu bar select the insert window. In the insert window you can drop down to the lines menu and you'll find the four trend lines. The vertical line, the horizontal line, the trend line and the trend line by angle. Also, MetaTrader 4 is designed to have what we refer to as toolbars. Each toolbar of the four toolbars has specific functions, and these functions are set by icons. Within the line studies toolbar, there are certain icons that control the cursor or the trend lines or do other functions like a Fibonacci retracement. Well, we're going to focus on the four trend line tools. Now specifically when you look at each one of these let me give you a bit of a definition. The vertical line trend bar is designed to mark various points based upon a time axis whereas the horizontal line is designed to mark various price levels as if you're setting a support and resistance levels. Then you have the trend line itself, a simple trend line that is a diagonal trend line set between two points and then one other unique tool to MetaTrader 4 is the trend line by angle. What this allows you to do is set a trend line at a specific angle. At this point, let me show you how to apply the trend lines and how to modify the trend lines so you can set them the way you'd like. First is the vertical line, and I've highlighted it in the toolbar. So if you were to select that, vertical line, then simply drag your cursor into the chart, you would see a vertical line attached to the cursor. You can drag it back and forth along the time axis at the bottom and set it where you'd like. You can also double click it and move it to another location if you'd like. Once the trend line is placed on the chart, let me show you how you can modify it. And this is true for all the trend lines. You would simply come up to the trend line and right click on it and you're going to find this type of menu will appear and you simply go to the trend line properties in this case we have a vertical trend line so I'll select vertical line properties when you select the trend line properties a window will appear now this window has three tabs common tab parameters tab and a visualization tab the visualization tab just simply allows you to apply it to all the time frames or just one specific time frame most of the time you're going to use the common tab and the parameters tab. In the common tab as you see right now you have the opportunity to change the style. You simply select the drop down menu and select the style you prefer. Also if you have the solid line you can come in and you can change the width of the line. And whether you've got a solid line or any other dash or dotted line you can change the color of the line. And those are the simple processes to go through and change the look of the trend line to your preference. The horizontal line is the next trend line, and I've highlighted it in the toolbar. Again, simply click, drag into the chart, and the horizontal line will be attached to the cursor. Place it based upon the price that you want it at in the chart, and let go, and the horizontal line will affix to that price point. Now, you can double-click the line and move it to another place that you would prefer it to be at and let go and it will then attach to that price point point. and again to edit the line you would simply right click on the line and you would select horizontal line properties the next trend line tool is the simple trend line I've highlighted it in the toolbar again you would click drag your cursor into the chart now unlike the vertical line which follows time axis or the horizontal line which follows the price axis, you would place the trend line based upon two points. In this case, I placed it here, and then I moved and I placed it 
down at this low point here and I let go and it formed this downward sloping or this diagonal line on the chart. Now one of the unique things about the simple trend line is that it's an ongoing ray. It, it continues infinitum. You could literally move this you could click and move this point anywhere along the price chart and the trend line would follow from that first point. Now to move the diagonal trend line you would click the middle point and you can move it up and down. Take some time and play with the trend lines and you'll have a better understanding of how to move them around. Now one of the things about the trend line that some people prefer is not to have this continuous ray. They would prefer just to see the trend line from point to point. So the way to go about doing that is to again right click on the trend line and you'll get this pop-up menu select trend line properties and when the window appears what you want to do is you want to go under the parameters tab and you want to uncheck the ray. It comes standard checked with that continuous line into the into the distance what you'd want to do is uncheck that and when you uncheck that the next thing you're going to see on the chart is the trend line that you've applied to the chart with no continuous line on the chart. That's how to set the trend line with no continuous ray. Last but not least is the trend line by angle. Now this is a unique trend line by MetaTrader 4. It allows you to place the trend line just like we did a moment ago but in this case you would be placing the trend line based upon the angle and the angle runs from 0 degrees all the way back around to 360 degrees so imagine if you will you're trading and you want to make sure that the market climbs up at a 30 degree angle or a 45 degree angle in this case I've placed a 30 degree angle line on the chart and let's say I'm trading and my exit would be a break of this 30 degree trend line. You could do that. You could watch for the market to move up and when it broke the 30 degree angle trend line that would be your exit point. This particular tool is a unique tool. Some traders like a 30 degree angle. Others like to look for a 45 degree angle. And even others prefer to watch for a 60 degree angle and let that be their potential exit. It's a unique tool. Take time to learn how to use it. But all in all, that is the trend line tools for the MetaTrader 4 platform. Well, this is Dean Malone with CompassFX. I hope some of the information I've shared with you in this video about trend lines, how to place them on a chart, and how to modify them to your preference will help you in your trading. Y'all make it a great day. Get some good trades. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.